financial mats. This one links annuities and pensions. Example four, calculate the future value of an installment savings plan based on saving 600 euros at the start of each year, 4% per annum for five years. Okay, so firstly the future value, let's write down the formula. F is equal to P into one plus I all to the power of T. In this question, well, what do we know? We have that the rate of interest is 4% per annum. So one plus I therefore is 1.04. We know that the time in question is five years. So in this install savings, what we're doing is the first year 600 has been in the bank earning interest for five years and the next 600 has been earning interest for four years, right down to the last 600 has been earning interest just for one year. And this, as we know, is a geometric series. We have term five, term four, right down to term one. Uh, A is called term one first term. So writing out what we have, A is 600 by 1.04 which is 624. There are five terms so n is 5 and the common ratio r is equal to 1.04. So we use the sum of a geometric series formula to sum this up. So the sum of n is a into 1 minus r to the power of n all divided by 1 minus r. Subbing in the values that we have here already we know that the future value, the sum of this series, the sum of the five terms, is given by when we sub in the values into the formula. And then we'll carefully type this into the calculator. When we do, we get the answer uh, 3379.79. In part two, we're asked to work out the present value of these five payments of 600 euros. And we'll write down the present value formula just to have it here. But if we think about this, the first 600 euros is needed straight away. Um, it's just 600 euros that we have now, so that's just worth 600 euros. The second 600 euros, well, we won't need that for a year, so that'll have been earning interest for a year. Um, so that won't be quite 600, it'll be 600, the amount that would accrue to 600 at this interest rate. And in two years' time, it'll have two years of earning interest, and three years, three years of earning interest, etc. And um, right down to the last payment, will have had four years of earning interest. So it'll be a little less than six hundred because it'll have been sitting in the bank for four years. And um, so, but to sum this series, so we write down the geometric sum formula. Uh, term one is six hundred, so a is six hundred. Uh, we have term 2, term 3, term 4, term 5, etc. So writing down the letters that go into the formula, A is 600, and there are five terms, so N is 5, and the common ratio, be careful with this, it's 1 over 1.04. So we just sub these carefully into the formula, so the present value is the sum of these five terms. So subbing these things into the calculator, just be very careful with your brackets. And if you do that correctly, the answer to this is 2777.94. So just less than 3,000 euros, which is what you'd expect it to be. And part two of this question, this time we're looking at the future value. We're trying to see looking at this amount here of 277.94, if that's the present value, and if it's been earning interest at 1.04% for five years, we're wondering, would it amount to the answer we got to part one? Would it have the same future value? So this is the simpler of the three questions. So subbing the numbers into the formula, and we see, we see, yes, the answer is 3,379.79. We have the same answer as part one. So the present value and the future values make sense.